Anthony Walker, Browns middle linebacker, <clears throat> talked about the importance of the defense playing well, especially now, and, and firsthand examples of teams that have won big with backup quarterbacks. Well, you got the D.C. that was on that Philly team and the starting safety on our team um, now, Rob McLeod, uh, they're both on that. They were both on that team, um, and you got to play good defense, man, which is what we want to do every week anyway. Um, and just and just it breeds it breeds in, encouragement and, you know, just the, the feeling that we got your back, you know, as the offense goes and as the, you know, quarterback situation plays itself out. But um, like I said, man, crazier things have happened, right? Um, you know, I think we're, we're in a great spot. We believe in anybody that gets back to their quarterback, um, that they're going to get the job done. And uh, I got to tell them, man, we don't, it don't have to be pretty. <laughs> it wasn't always pretty with Deshaun, you know, like, you know, he had to go through some times and, you know, we had to win games ugly 13 to three, whatever it is. Um, you got to do that sometimes in the NFL. And as it gets to the December, January, it's going to be about stopping the run and running the football. And I think we do those two, two things really well. And, and again, this defense will keep you in pretty much every game. You, you just can't give the ball away. <laughs> That's the main thing. Yeah, I mean, Browns, I think, have only they've pretty much barely won the turnover battle, you know, at, through most of the season. They just haven't hung on to the football. And, I mean, it's amazing, you know, considering their record is 6-3, and three, despite, you know, the fact that they haven't had great quarterback play most of the season, despite the fact that they've turned the ball over, they've had one of the worst turnover rates in the NFL. And despite all that, they're 6-3. and three. That goes to just the talent and the high-level play that this defense has had more often than not. And usually they may be able – so there's been plenty of times this season where they've been able to follow up, you know, sluggish defensive performances with great ones. This is another opportunity to do that. And, you know, with eight games left in the regular season, you know, the finish line is kind of in sight. And you would imagine, you know, the defense understands, you know, they got they got to do a little more, but they got to find a way to do without pressing too hard because that we saw kind of what happened in the first Baltimore game when DTR was starting. It felt like the defense was trying too hard. And that's kind of where they got into making some mistakes and why, you know, Baltimore was able to put up 28 points on them in the first time around so it's just about them playing within themselves and finding a way to get those takeaways and you know try and make Dorian Thompson Robinson's life a little easier especially if he can get off to a good start you know get a lead and maybe it's hard for a defense to kind of carry you all the way in a game but you feel like th if there's a defense that can this is one of them that has that potential.